And now, for another thrilling, ever so fulfilling, Fireside Chat with Tom Wall and Rob. The Pitch. Time truly is moving incredibly slowly. Robson. Yes? I have a story to tell you. Oh dear God. Oh, it's a good one. Trust me. Go ahead. There once was a man who lived in a shack in the woods. Mm -hmm. He was a particularly reclusive gentleman, with a lot of time on his hands, and didn't really know what to do with it. Right. So he would read and write and often speak to no one. What was this gentleman's name? Uh, Todd. Todd. Rick. Rick? Do Todd Rick. Todd Rick? Yes, Todd Rick, the reclusive hermit. My goodness. Well, well, what happened to Todd Rick then? Well, Todd Rick had somewhat of an estranged son who lived in the village. What village? Uh, well, uh, Baltimore. Baltimore. The village was called Baltimore. Well, it's not really relevant. His son was not very bright. What was his son's name? Will you stop asking so many questions? Well, I'm just trying to understand the picture you're painting. Well, how about I show you? Todrick's son is not very bright, but he is a prolific bricklayer. Good for Todrickson. The problem is... Todrick. He isn't satisfied with that. He expects his son to be a Nobel laureate in the field of biomedical engineering. It's a worthy goal to strive for. Todrick's son... How do I put this? falls drastically short of basic competency in any form of academic pursuit or field of research. Nothing a good bit of study can't fit? He's technically illiterate. Uh, that, uh, that does change things. But old Todrick can't see past this. You see, ultimately he decided to make him abandon bricklaying in favour of study. But he's borderline illiterate. Ah, but old Todrick can't see that, can he? He just sees a lazy son who doesn't work hard enough. That's not very clever, is it? You see, he expects his son to be more like... more like Todd... Rick... the second. Could have at least come up with some better names. Well, it is a true story, Gromson. It's not. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, Todd Rick the second is employed as an accountant in the village. Baltimore... Uh, sure. Baltimore. Todrick decides he'll allow his son to do bricklaying on one condition. And what's that? He returns to study after one year. Okay, so what you're telling me, that a recluse named Todrick who lives in a shed has an unnamed son from Baltimore Village that wants to be a bricklayer and is incapable of simple literacy? Yes. And he expects this moron, who was really perfectly crafted by God to become a bricklayer, to instead pursue biomedical engineering in order to satisfy his bizarre ego? Exactly! Tom Wall, that is insane. But true. Then Todrick is the most unwise man I have ever heard of. And I have to look him in the eyes every single day. It's an allegory, Gromson. Well said, Tom Ward. Well, now that we've had that breakthrough, I suggest we talk about how you treat your children. 